everyone the game chief here today we're going to be doing a video on showing you how to transition from cf tools omega slash control panel over to the new cf tools cloud if you don't know about cf tools omega becoming cf tools cloud i highly suggest that you check out my video on the subject that i just released recently that video will be in the video description and on the top of your screen right now as well and once again there are a bunch of details in that other video explaining exactly what's happening and all the timeline and all that you're going to have until May 7th or May 10th, depending on where you're looking, to get switched over from the Control Panel or Omega over to the new CF Tools Cloud. And let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to sign up for CF Tools Cloud. So I'm going to go ahead and hit sign in here. And you will need to create a new account. It's not going to be the same account as you had previously. You can still sign in with Steam or you can use the username and password. Totally up to you. And now that we are signed in, there is the option to subscribe now. And again, I cover all the different plans, but there still is the free plan that has the one server. So if you're only needing one server, that will work perfectly fine for you. And before we activate this right now, we are gonna go ahead and get a few housekeeping things sorted out first. So we're gonna go ahead and remote into our server. And then right now I am still running on the previous version of Omega Manager. So we're gonna need to update to the latest version. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop all my servers. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up Omega Manager here and I'm gonna do Control C to go ahead and let it close. And then we're gonna go ahead and get the latest Omega Manager EXE. Currently it looks like auto update's not gonna be updating to the latest version until the old version of Omega or Control Panel is shut down. So I need to go ahead and download the latest version. So I will have this linked in the video description. This link may change, so I'll make sure I get it updated though. And as you can see here, there's the two versions. Here's the latest of the legacy version, and here's the newest version. We're going to go ahead and download that. And for those of you that are wondering, Omega Manager is not going to be, you know, closed off only to the cloud version. You can still use it locally if you want to. It's just going to be, you'll need to have the latest up-to-date version to use the cloud features. And then they're also only going to allow one free instance instead of the multiple that you could get beforehand, which in my opinion is completely fair. But if you want to hear about all the details, again, highly recommend that other video. So we're just going to go ahead and copy this. Then we're going to go ahead and go over to where our old Omega Manager is. We're going to paste that in. And then we'll go ahead and replace the file. And we'll go ahead and run this so it can get going. We'll say more info, run anyway. Alrighty, and as we can see, Omega Manager is running. It is going to give us a few errors because we're going to be using our old API key, so that's not going to work out. But we'll get that fixed in just a moment here. So we can go ahead and minimize this and we're going to go back over to Omega Manager, we'll refresh this. And if we look around, you will see that it's actually very similar. Not a whole lot has changed. Um, there's just a few references and a few different things that are, look slightly different. And we'll be using the video series server as normal. We're going to go into overview here and we're going to go over to mod configuration. And then we're going to remove the CF Tools Daisy plugin. It has now been replaced with a new plugin. So any of the CF Tools DC plugins, including like code block, expansion, all that, you're going to want to remove all of them. So I'm going to go and remove that. And then we're going to find the new one, which is called Game Labs. And we're going to go and add that. We're going to move it over to the top. And we're going to make sure that that is a server side mod. We're going to go ahead and hit Save Changes. Press OK on that. We'll go back to our home page. And then we'll hit install on tracked mods now because we haven't installed that one before. And then since we're not going to be having an instance for this second server, I'm going to go ahead and go into the overview here. And I'm just going to go ahead and go into mod configuration and remove the CF tools plugin. And we're going to go ahead and save that. And I'm also going to go back into Omega instance configuration. And what I'm going to go ahead and do here is I'm going to go ahead and delete out the API key and the service ID as these are no longer going to be valid since I'm moving over to CF Tools Cloud. And this particular server is not going to have cloud capability, but the other one will. So I'm just going to completely remove those, save changes again. 
and go back to the home page. And I'm going to go ahead and go into the overview on our first server. And I'm going to go into Omega Instance. And I'm going to scroll down here. And I'm going to remove the server ID and the API key for this as well. And we'll re-add our new ones here in a moment. And we'll go ahead and hit Save. Go to Dashboard. And then I'm going to start our servers so that way we can go ahead and get them added into CF Tools Cloud. And now that we're back on the cloud page, I'm going to go ahead and activate the free version. Again, this one's free forever, but you can also get a subscription one. So say if you need two servers, five servers, the fair use one. Again, more details about how all these work is in that video where I go over all the changes. So we're going to go ahead and activate this now. And it's going to ask a few questions. So the country. So in my case, I'm going to select United States and then region, select that. And then it just gives us some terms of service along with some data information. If you want, you can open these up and it's of course legal documents if you really care about that, and, you know, kind of understand what type of rules you're under, stuff like that. I've kind of read through all this. It seems pretty standard from what I've seen, so we should be good there. And so I've agreed to both of these and we'll hit next. And then ask you to confirm and activate. So we'll do that. And it is now activated. This does give a renewal date, however, because it's free, it's not like you're getting charged or anything. This is kind of more of the infrastructure for the other categories. So now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and hit add server. And then right now it's just DayZ uh, from the sounds of it, they're going to be expanding into ARM3 and Rust as well. So that sounds pretty cool, but we'll continue with DayZ. And then you can add it by IP address or name. So I'm going to go ahead and just type TGC in here. And we can actually see both of them come up. So I'm going to go and select the video series one. And then next we're going to need to copy our Archon password in. So let's go ahead and grab that. So I'm remoted back in. I'm going to go ahead and open up Atom. And this, you can ignore, these are just kind of some test files I was playing around with, we'll close that. We'll go into DAISY servers, server zero is the server we're using. We're going to go into profiles, battle eye, and then get our BE server underscore x64, and this one's active. We're going to go and copy our Archon password, again, don't show that to anyone or anything like that. We're going to paste that in here. And then it's going to ask for your Archon port. Your Archon port is the same as your game port, so by default 2302 is the default game port, so your Archon port would be that. Say if you were playing on 2402, if that was your game port, that'd be your Archon port, it's all the same. So let's we'll keep that at 2302, and we'll go ahead and hit Test Connection and Set Up Instance. So this is going to just verify that it can reach it and that that Archon password works, and now it's going to go ahead and deploy it. Alrighty, and now we are in. So there's a few things here. So right away, our nickname is, or identifier is gonna be just the server ID. So we can change this. I'm gonna quickly change this. And I'm gonna go and press okay on this. And we'll press okay on that. And we can see it kind of changed it slightly just to remove certain characters and remove spaces. That's fine for me. I can always rename this if I want it to be something else. And if we take a look around, there's some basic information such as how many players are in the database, the CF cloud region, uh, server ranking, all that. A lot of this stuff's not going to have anything because we just created this. Also has graphs, which doesn't have anything to pull currently. And, you know, player database, logs, server logs, Archon protocol stuff. You have your whitelist, your priority queue, your chat filters. Um, your chat filters, which I believe is a new thing, name filters, which you can do survivor and any other names you want to block, and then a bunch of different modules. We'll kind of go over this probably in a separate video, but we're going to go over to settings. We're going to go to API key, and this gives us our server ID and the API key, so we're going to go ahead and copy our server ID, and we're going to go ahead and go back into the overview on our video series server. We're going to go into Omega Instance Configuration, go down to the very bottom. We'll go ahead and paste in our new service ID. We'll minimize that. 
and then we're going to go and copy our API key. And we'll paste that in there. And then we're going to go up to the top and we're going to save changes. And now we're almost done. We just have to go ahead and configure game labs real fast. So if we look here on their workshop page, it does have some information. We're going to need to create a file called gamelabs.cfg in the profiles directory. So let's go and do that now. So we'll go to our server, we'll go to our profiles, and then we have cftools.cfg from the old plugin. We can actually delete that. And we're going to create a new file, new text document. And we're going to go ahead and call this gamelabs.cfg. And we do want to change that extension, so we'll hit yes. And then now we can see it's a CFG file. Again, you can go to view and then you can do file name extension so you can see those. We're going to open this up and we're going to copy this little block right here. And we'll paste that in and then we need our server ID. So we'll go and copy that. And then we'll grab our API key. And we'll have that paste in there. Make sure you don't leave these little special characters in. It's just saying to go ahead and insert it there. So make sure you remove those and just enter your ID and key. And there's only two other settings here. You can have debug set to one, so enabled if you want to. And then connection verification is default set to one. That means it's going to reach out to the CF Cloud API. And if for some reason your credentials don't work, say if they're incorrect or if the API is unreachable, it will shut down the server. You can change this to a zero if you want. However, I'm gonna keep that as a one and we're gonna save that. And I'm gonna go over back to Omega Manager here. I'm gonna stop all servers and restart them so that change there can take effect. And now that those are all turned off, we'll go ahead and start them all again. And if we reload this page, we can actually go over to dashboard right here. And as we can see, we don't have any players on the server or anything like that. We can click on the map tab here so we can see a map of everything here. And some other things, but we'll go ahead and go back to here, players, and you have your map here. It also will tell you your server FPS as well, kind of a graph showing how that's going. And we can go ahead and go over to manage here to bring back all these settings. And we can just see a few things change, like we have the graphs here with the server FPS, AI, animals, vehicles, all that type of stuff. And other than that, you're essentially all transferred over. You will need to go ahead and go back and reset up your things. So in my case, like the ban, my main ban list here is still here because ban list transferred over, but not everything else did. So you may want to go into your modules and kind of reset some of this stuff up as well. So you can kind of dig through all this, see all the different settings. It's very similar to before, but there will be new features over time. So yeah, you'll just have to go ahead and go through and reset up some of these things. And that's about it. As always, my Discord is linked below. I have also linked the CF Tools Discord as well, so you can go ahead and ask questions there if needed. And that's about it. If you have any video suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. I will be covering some more CF Tools cloud stuff as it progresses. Obviously, this is kind of the early stages, so things may change. So always check the video description and the pinned comment. And other than that, have a good one.